here, we're covering these hips. So we're working on driving the knee in the hole, right? So we're gonna drive the knee in the hole. We're in this position. I'm grabbing his ankle, I'm trying to break him down. He's just super strong, he's not moving. He's just staying in this position. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hand and I'm gonna just dangle it over the top of his, his neck, just like this, okay? Just dangle it. I'm pulling his leg, pulling his leg. Now watch, my hips start leaning back. Notice that my thigh is pushing against the back of his tricep right here. So my thigh is driving against his tricep. As it does, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna bring his hand right to the hole. I'm gonna lock my hands, come around. I'm just gonna choke him from right there. So, knee goes in the hole. I'm trying to break him down. He's not breaking down. I dangle my hand over the top of his head. I just dangle it, just like this. He doesn't think anything's coming. Then I start driving my, 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 my thigh into the back of his, uh, shoulder, uh, his uh, tricep to open up space for me to bring my hand through. Once my hand comes through, I grab it. I throw my leg up on top and I just squeeze. The squeezing motion is here. I'm squeezing my elbow to my ribs. So the space in here, I'm just taking the space out. I'm not doing this. I'm crunching. So one more time. He goes in the hole. I try to break him down. He's not breaking down. Dangle my hand. I start leaning my body weight this way. It allows me to grab my hand. I pull it under his chin and throw my arm up. Then I crunch and get the choke.